Good morning. Today is Sunday, October 6th. This is Faith at Home with Pastor. And uh, we continue our devotions from the Good News Magazine. And we still have several from the magazine entitled Encouragement. Today, I want to talk about this one in particular. It says, when you need comfort, God promises you. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. Isaiah 66 verse 13. You have probably seen the way a loving mother comforts her infant child. No matter how desperately her child wails and kicks, she can immediately quiet her child by nursing him. In his word, God uses the image of a mother nursing her child as an analogy to describe the way he lovingly comforts you in your distress. Speaking through his prophet Isaiah, God promises you as one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. God promises enter into your life like a mother's milk enters a child, comforting you and soothing you in your distress. Not only does the mother's milk comforts, it also strengthens the baby. Especially for a newborn, the mother's milk provides a special ingredient that helps the child's body fight infection and disease. In the same way, God's word is described as milk in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. God's milk is also more than comforting. It nourishes and grows your faith, and in you fights temptation and an infestation of the devil. God promises comfort, comforted his people during their, their suffering in Babylon. The way God's living word, his milk, works as comfort, nourishment, and protection can be seen in God's prophecy that was written by Isaiah. A day of great destruction was coming when the armies of Babylon would attack God's people, killing many and taking the survivors captive. Because of this terrible defeat, the people of Judah spent many years in exile. They were very weak. They mourned the loss of their loved ones, their homeland, and the comforts of their former lives. Before this suffering took place, God spoke to them through Isaiah. God promised to comfort the people during their suffering. Just as a mother's milk brings comfort and calms her child, God's word entered into his people's hearts and minds, comforting them with many promises to send them, them, them a savior. Here are some of the verses from Isaiah. Isaiah 1 verse 18, Though your sins are as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Or Isaiah 9 verse 2, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. Isaiah 7 verse 14, Behold, the virgin will bear a son and call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Isaiah 9 verse 6, His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 35 verse 10, The ransomed of the Lord will return, they will find gladness and joy and sorrow, and sighing will flee away. And then finally, Isaiah 53 verse 5, he was crushed for our iniquities. He was, by his scourging, we are healed. As God's people, as God's people heard his promises spoken to them, his living word was at work within them. Like a mother's milk entering her child, God's word entered into the hearts and minds of his people to nourish and calm them in their distress. Using the analogy you see illustrated on this page, we got right there on this page. God promises his people as one whom his mother comforts, so I will, I will comfort you. God's promises will also comfort and sustain you. You know, we see that in this particular issue of encouragement, where God gives you his life-giving word. And we are able to read these words of comfort that God speaks to us. And we think of God's word as mother's milk flowing into our hearts and minds and whenever we hear God's word. Using God's analogy of a mother's nursing her child pictured in this magazine, it's a way of remembering that God's words are a powerful, living, uh, active word within us. God promises you, and as one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. Having understood God's word, God's prophet also says, the word sustains the weary. Isaiah 50 verse 4. Let's pray. Your word, dear Heavenly Father, is like mother's milk. Through this word, your promises to comfort and soothe me in all my struggles. 
lead me into a right understanding and use your word so that from it I will have the highest good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us and we'll look forward to seeing you next Sunday.